I'm Carly Herschler, and thanks for joining us for this news update. President Trump took a stand in the coronavirus outbreak and confirmed two deaths in the United States. He also said there were about 88 confirmed cases, also within the U.S. About 44 of those cases were from the Diamond Princess cruise ship in which Americans were evacuated. Trump also said that they will be beginning screenings within, con within the countries Iran, Italy, and South Korea. In 2017, 69-year-old Kenneth Rhodes from Jefferson County was arrested on murder charges for Carlos Daniel Cole. The shooting happened when Rhodes spotted a suspicious car lurking in the tall grass when he approached the men inside, opened fire. Rhodes was shot, but also able to defend himself as well as the man who was with Rhodes. As new evidence came into fruition, Rhodes was finally freed under the ruling of self-defense. Now for sports. Vanessa Bryant presented an emotional yet memorable tribute to husband Kobe Bryant and daughter Gigi Bryant last week on February 24, 2020. This date was chosen for Kobe and Gigi's jersey numbers to honor them. The memorial was held at the Staples Center and lasted two hours long. Speeches from Vanessa herself, Michael Jordan, Shaquille O'Neal, and many others Kobe has impacted and inspired in his life. The memorial was also open to the public, and all the proceeded tickets went to the Mamba Foundation. Lastly, Deontay Wilder has used the right to request a rematch with Tyson Fury. Last weekend, the fight was won by Fury, who took the heavyweight champion belt from Wilder. Fury knocked down Wilder within the third, fifth, and seventh rounds of the fight. The fight came to an end when Wilder's team stopped the fight. Wilder, who was born and raised in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, has had the title for five years. The tentative date of the next battle is July 18th, 2020 in Las Vegas. I'm Carly Herschler, and that's a quick news update. Have a great day.